The movie begins with a prosecutor who comes to a criminal who has privileges in prison, he is the chairman named Cheon. The purpose of the prosecutor is to find a money launderer who works for Chairman Cheon outside the prison, a rival prosecutor seems to endanger Chairman Cheon's business, in the end, Chairman Shin contacted his subordinate to solving money laundering and hiding everything, basically, the previous prosecutor was a professional cheater named, Kong Hari. Lim Byung Min is a hacker who took a part in Kong Hari's team, with his skills he made one of the guards got an emergency message, so that it would be easy for Kong Hari to disguise himself as a guard, with the identity of a Kong Hari as a police made the guards leave from there. After that, Kong Hari reported everything to the one of the real prosecutors named, Jang Eng Kyu, before the prosecutor's team came in, Kong Hari rushed to take all the money there, even though he was found out, but he is to be very relaxed, dude Jin Wung is a fighter who works with Kong Hari, easily, Jin Wung could easily defeat them all, and then Prosecutor Jang had arrived when everything was messed up. On the other side, Kong Hari and his team had brought out the money which they managed to get, but unluckily, they were caught, so that it involved a chase with the police, at the same time, suddenly the bikers had confronted the policemen, so as to make them able to escape, behind that, Prosecutor Jang also got some of the money of Chairman Xion, even though he was free from prison, but Chairman Xion is broke, and this is the The Player movie. The scene flashback to one month earlier, at that time, Prosecutor Jang had investigated the identity of Jin Wong, who was a reliable wrestler and had never been defeated. Byung Min is a winner in hacking the system financial of Canada, has even been offered to be a member of this NIS when he was 20 years old, and the last one is Khan Hari, an accomplished fraudster, every person high file claiming to have cheated but Khan Hari's personal information could not be found. At this time, the fraudulent team is choosing its target, this time is Ji Ma Hyun, the leader of Hyun's group, currently the suspect is under investigation with a bribery case, the suspect admitted to hiding 8 billion money from 40 billion, Khan Hari planned to steal the hidden money, in the other side, a woman whose name Cha A Ryong was taking a driving test, at that time suddenly another motorist was angry because she was too slow, that finally A Ryong showed her true skill, after that Aeryong accidentally saw a highly coveted car, shortly, Kong Hari was there, shortly, Kong Hari invited Aeryong to talk about business and absolutely invited Aeryong to join, but suddenly the police chased them, it turned out to be Kong Hari had stolen that car. In the end, Aeryong joined the Kong Hari team as a driver, elsewhere, a trial was conducted because the abuse case that led to the death, Sung Koo was really the culprit behind the crime, Deep fear made the witness afraid to tell the true incident, and Sanku able to be free from the trial without getting punishment, as a result of the incident, the mother of the victim inevitably had to accept the death of her daughter with a slander, behind that, the leader and the attorney also defended, and would protect Sanku, only prosecutor Jang who had the ambition of uncovering the truth, on the other side. Khan Hari has determined its target which happens to be the father of Sanku, elsewhere, Sanku has kidnapped one of restaurant waitress, Sanku doing indecent things again and filming them, while Khan Hari who had made the movement had met the victim's family, but the police claimed that it was a hit and run victim, from CCTV footage of the hospital, they were able to find a suspicious person, with the ability of Byung Min, the identity of that person was easily to found, unexpectedly, Byung Min found a site, inside there, they found the footage of Sung Koo and the victim was the woman lying at the hospital, but suddenly they were tracked down, and then a swarm of people came to arrest them. In the end, a fight broke out, the three of them had to fight a lot of people, and absolutely make Khan Hari and the other overwhelmed, they were led by a man who was not yet known by name, so we just called him Leo, with an Akar Aeryon coming and immediately took them away from there, after the incident, the site has been closed, Khan Hari sure there must be spies at the hospital, so that they were tracked and directly ambushed, finally Khan Hari and Jin Wung arrested the person in, question in order to dig deeper into the information, elsewhere, Aeryong and Byung Min had broken Sun Koo's place to really in search of evidence that could be taken, at that time, Kong Hari and Jin Wu made a threat that Michael willing to tell everything, at the time, Sun Koo felt that the money who gave by his parents was still lacking, Michael invited Sun Koo to join his business in operating porn sites, but Sun Koo had no intention of joining and decided to create his own site, he felt Korea is a free country, even when in high school Sun Koo had killed someone, but he got no punishment, considering his father is a man who could manipulate the law with money, at this time, A Ryong and Byung Min has found a secret safe and managed to get very sufficient evidence, the situation are getting clearer, when Jin Wong found a message from Michael's phone to kill the victims, and finally Khan Hari told A Ryong and Byung Min come to the hospital, someone had been sent to the hospital to kill the victim, fortunately. 
A Ryong and Byung Min had brought the victim first, that bad news finally knows by Sun Ku. Finally he vented his anger to one of the women, he asked his manager to manage all of these trouble, and did not tell the incident to his father. In other places, the victim has been taken to safety for treatment. Chu Yun He is a doctor and friend of Khan Hari. In the morning, the victim has become conscious. Shortly, the victim searched for her phone, considering that the previous incident had been recorded by her to be used as evidence, and then in the end the victim was told to run and tried to be killed by hitting her. It also made them very upset by the behavior of Sun Ku. Elsewhere, a detective had a call that his car was scuffed until blistering, at that time Aeryong accidentally bumps into detectives in order to retrieve his wallet, while detectives going, Jean Wong comes in his food delivery, pretend to deliver a food, Jean Wong conductor puts a USB on detective's laptop that allows Byung Min to got all information belonging to detectives, on the other side, Kong Hari and Aeryong has entered a warehouse using the identity of the detective and taking the Evidence there, eventually, the police realized there was an intruder, fortunately they managed to escape, to escape the police chase, they decided to scatter, but unluckily, they met Leo troops again, shortly, they were all faced by Jin Wong alone, while Khan Hari and Byung Min tried to escape, but unluckily, Leo had followed them, Khan Hari had to fight Leo while waiting for Byung Min to copy all the evidence, meanwhile Jin Wong had beaten Leo's troops, but Khan Hari and Byung Min came back with Leo, who finally Jin Wong had to fight again to defeat Leo, Shortly, Kong Hari and Byung Min was cornered again, Kong Hari asked for Byung Min to hand over the USB, and in the end the three of them had to be caught when they regrouped. On the other side, Kong Hari had met the Chairman Ji who is the father of Sun Ku. Shortly, Kong Hari making a deal with Chairman Ji using the evidence he got, in order to get money from the Chairman Ji, that news finally heard by Jin Wong, Byung Min and A Ryong, considering the detectives also on Chairman Ji's side. Elsewhere, Prosecutor Jang had received a report from Yun He about the whereabouts of the victim in the case of abuse, with A Ryong's skills, they finally managed to get loose, but they were very upset and felt that they lied by Khan Hari, even though there were so many troops, Jin Wong fight them again just by himself. Meanwhile, the detective has arrived at the Yun He's hospital, but Prosecutor Jang who has been there and made the detective unable to do anything, while Khan Hari had met his friends, but their anger made Khan Hari go into hiding, and unluckily, he was discovered. In the end the detective had been arrested by the attorney, the victim also gave all the evidence given by Khan Hari to the prosecutor Jang. It was also made prosecutor Jang remember the arrest of Chairman Xion, and even the USB received was also very similar. Elsewhere, a foundation ceremony belonging to Chairman Ji would be carried out, at that time Khan Hari and Aeryong had sneak, Khan Hari trying to distract the host, while Aeryong plugged in a USB so that Byung Min could access it. While Jin Wong had been keeping an eye on the state of affairs that the Chairman Ji had arrived with Sun Ku, when in the middle of the event, suddenly all the evidence of the crime of Sun Ku was really shown, including also a voice recording belonging to the victim, that incident finally made the event chaotic, and in the end, Prosecutor Jang had arrived to arrest the Chairman Ji, while Sun Ku who tried to escape was stopped by Khan Hari and his team, Khan Hari had given a little reward for Sun Ku. After that, the Prosecutor Jang was there to arrest him, while Khan Hari, Jin Wong, Byung Min and A Ryong had found a secret place, which is the money of the Chairman Ji was hidden, but before, someone had followed them and arrested them. Elsewhere, Prosecutor Jang was very angry because of the Deputy Chief of Attorney, considering all the evidence had been removed in order to protect the VIP and conglomerates. Prosecutor Jang didn't care if he had to be fired, he will be looking for an evidence to cut off all the bribes at the attorney. After that, Prosecutor Jang decided to meet his team who arrested Khan Hari, Jin Wong, Byung Min and A Ryong, but Prosecutor Jang instead found his team tied at the chair. Previously, investigators Meng had arrested them, at that time, A Ryong secretly took the keys, so that they could break free, while Meng confidently giving a news to Prosecutor Jang that he has managed to catch them. In the end, Prosecutor Jang asking Meng looking for the fraudsters who escaped, but at that time, Khan Hari has been there, posing as a courier, now Prosecutor Jang realizes all the evidence sent via USB did by Khan Hari, in the end, Khan Hari invited Prosecutor Jang to cooperate. Khan Hari will give the evidence that Prosecutor Jang needs, but all the money will be used as a reward for Khan Hari, but Prosecutor Jang refuses it. On the grounds that do not want to break the law, Khan Ha re reminded that the law should be for those who are guilty, but ill fated the enforcers of justice always serve the superiors who have money. Today, President Director of the One Hack Company has been acquitted of the law with a bribery case. The prosecution admitted to lack of evidence so that President Director could be free with impunity. As a result, Prosecutor Jang was furious because the Deputy Chief had removed all evidence and acquitted the President Director. A Deputy Chief asked Prosecutor Jang to give concrete evidence, with the presumption of Prosecutor Jang accusing innocent people. In the end, 
The commotion was heard by Chief Prosecutor, who finally Mr. Yu asked Prosecutor Jang not to suspect in the absence of evidence, Prosecutor Jang promised to bring all the evidence, by calling Khan Hari, Prosecutor Jang will cooperate to get an evidence and will turn a blind eye when Khan Hari brings all the money. In the other place, a protest is carried out in order to maintain development in the area, the bald man who is the older brother of Jin Wu also participated in the action, the bald man could gone to move to another place, but he worries about their fate, basically, everyone is trying their own way, on the other side, A Ryong visited her former business friend before being with Khan Hari, with the purpose of inviting A Ryong back to join, A Ryong who refused them had forced, fortunately. Khan Hari was there, using a toy gun, Khan Hari be able to make them scared, Today Prosecutor Jang together with the Meng has arrived at Khan Hari's headquarters, which had made Jin Wong, Byung Min and A Ryong panicked, the arrival of Prosecutor Jang of course to cooperate with them, this time their target is the President Director, Prosecutor Jang told them to look for absolute evidence, and all the money for them. On the other place, the illegal fighting competition has been organized, betting for the win and earn money is a business in that place, the President Director also participates in the business, but the fighter that he have had lost, so making him very angry, meanwhile, Khan Hari and his team begins to devise a strategy, to approach the President Director by giving a fighters, Huang Yuri is a martial arts managing agent, with his skills, Khan Hari begin to approaching her, by claiming to be, a managing agent of martial arts too, at a lavish party they meet the President Director, a short story, the President Director asks fighter to Yuri, but Yuri has no fighter who is as in the requirements, so suggest talking to Khan Hari who is also an agent, in the end, the President Director now comes to Khan Hari for the sake of seeing the fighters owned, but before choosing, the President Director asked them to fight, forcefully Jin Wung had to fight his friend, not stopping there. The President Director also had time to hit the loser, so that made Jin Wung very angry, elsewhere, a swarm of people were sent to clean up the people who doing protests. The bald man trying to put up resistance, but ill-fated he had to take a hard blow to his head. Meanwhile, tonight the fight will begin again, Jin Wung has been preparing to perform, the young man also in his own position, and finally the fight will be start, while Khan Hari and A Ryong also starting to do a movement, at that night, the fight has begun, with his one hit, Jin Wong made his opponents sprawled, while Khan Hari and A Ryong have disguised themselves and sneaked in with the help of Byung Min, to prepare to take the money, temporarily, the fight turned around when opponents attacked in fraudulent ways, the incident seemed made the president director unsettled and decided to go with his evil plan to call the cooperating police with him, meanwhile in the fight area Jin Wong finally managed to defeat his opponent. Due to emergency, the visitors had been evacuated, as well as all the money had been moved, A Ryong and Khan Hari in undercover finally manages to bring all the money that has been moved into the car, on the other side, Jin Wong gets news from his nephew about the blind man who is hospitalized, thus requiring Ji Wong to leave Byung Min in the hospital, the blind man has been surgery on due to having a cerebral hemorrhage, while the money they manage to take away it turns out that the fake money, Khan Hari finds a series of forged cars, in the end they meet the seller of the fake car, by claiming to be a prosecutor, Khan Hari checked all the transaction history there, Li Hian was the name that was on the list, in the end, they found in that Li Hian was the one of Li Hian company, that is assistant to the president director, while well, now they knew that the president director is the one who took the money, at this time, the president director come to hospital in order to improve the company's image, and offer compensation to the demonstrators, but the anger of the demonstrators were very passionate, even Jin Wong also was there with furious, to find the money who took by the president director, Khan Hari and A Ryong had come as a computer service, because the computer was connected by electing the president director, Khan Hari claimed the computer belonged to the president director also got the virus, and had to be dismantled, in the middle of the process, suddenly the president director has arrived, the employee tried to hold president director not to entering, for fear of getting angry if the president director found out his, computer was hit by a virus, while Khan Hari started to panic because of Byung Min unanswered, fortunately they had finished when president director came in, by hiding, they were sneaking around out of there, through information from President's computer, they can find out that the money is being stored in the warehouse, on the other side, Jin Wong has met the President Director. The attack of Jin Wong to the President well accidentally known by Khan Hari and A Ryong, but the policemen were also on the side of the President Director, well who eventually Jin Wong was arrested, when President Director tried to hit him, Khan Hari, A Ryong, Jin Wong came and took Jin Wong away from there. At that time the anger of Jin Wong overflowed because he thought his brother was in a coma because of President Director, finally, Khan Hari told Jin Wong to come out to vent his anger, but Khan Hari reminded that the anger would not solve the problem, Khan Hari had also experiencing an incident like this, and because of two anger made him fail, 
Kong Hari promised to help Jean Wong catch the president director. While various strategies and plans have been composed, at night, they started doing movements, Kong Hari had disguised to meet Li Yun, who was an assistant to the president director, while A Ryong and Byung Min had disguised themselves as an employee, by stealing the identity of other employees they can get into the computer room, so that when Li Hian tries to confirm the identity of Kan Hari, Byung Min can pretend to be the person of office, and confirm Kan Hari's identity, pretend to go to toilet, Kan Hari had gone elsewhere, but unluckily, Kan Hari was caught, on the other side, Jing Wong had beaten up the people who keeping the money, A Ryong and Byung Min has moved all the money into the truck, but Kan Hari has come with a swarm of people whom chasing him, in the end, Jing Wong has returned to fight, while A Ryong and Byung Min trying to take away the money, in the other place, President Director is celebrating his wife's birthday, but the bad news was by accept him. So he leaves his wife unceremoniously, currently A Ryong and Byung Min has exchanged the truck that carrying the money, then go to escape. In the truck, the President Director found money with a picture of his face, and also there was a phone connected to Kan Hari, Kan Hari giving a message and an impression, that certainly made the President Director furious. After everything that happened, they went to the place of illegal fighters before, Kan Hari gave money to Jin Wung and told him to go to the hospital, to see his brother, but unlucky the President Director knowing their hiding, A Ryong had to be chased by President Director and his troops, aisle after hallway had been passed, with the help of Byung Min, one by one of the doors are locked, that eventually making President Director and his troops split up, while A Ryong accidentally dropped her communication device, so that making the situation chaotic, Byung Min trying to hold the door for A Ryong to enter as well. Because of too happy, Byung Min instantly hugged A Ryong, but suddenly, while the President Director had been locked in a hallway, only one door could open and bring him into the fight arena, at that time, Kan Hari had been there with all the evidence of the President Director's crimes, President Director could have reached that position because of his father-in-law, he felt getting it all was a hard work including as an apple polish of a ugly women for the sake of his current position, but ill-fated Kan Hari had brought in wife of President Director who, finally now their relationship has ended, from behind, Jin Wong suddenly appears and hits the President Director. Well in the end, the President Director just free was arrested again by the attorney with the strong evidence, due to Prosecutor Jang's success, he was called by the Attorney General named Mr. Yu, to make a new team unit in charge of the Prosecutor Jang, behind the team, Kan Hari, Jin Wong, Byung Min and A Ryong would be hired in secret, the team was called Criminal Restitution, behind that, the attorney got called in thank you, for Prosecutor Jang's donations to the people who were wronged people in previous cases, but Prosecutor Jang did not do that, he realized that this was an act of Kan Hari, 17 years ago, Prosecutor Jang once took a photo with his superior, he is Choi Hyun Ki, who is the Chief Attorney General and the father of Kan Hari, the real name of Kan Hari is So Hyu, at that time Prosecutor Jang know that Kan Hari also has a dream to be a prosecutor, and invited Kan Hari to cooperate someday, behind all the actions of Kan Hari so far, just to Find one person, who used to be called with that person, 15 years ago, that person had arrested every official who did not cooperate with him, including Attorney General Hyun Ki. At that night, Prosecutor Jang was about to meet Hyun Ki, but suddenly something fell from above, and it was Hyun Ki who had died, Hyun Ki's death had been made slander on charges accepting bribes and having planned crimes with board member, at first, that person intended to take advantage of Hyun Ki, because Hyun Ki had a good reputation in the public, however, because he did not want to be invited to the dirty business, that person was forced to kill him, in order to find the mastermind. Behind the death of his father, Kan Hari planned to arrest the person's accomplice, his target in this time is Park Hyun Jong, at that time Hyun Jong had realized himself to be Prosecutor Jang's target, he planned to hide for a while, but unexpectedly, Kan Hari and A Ryong who will drive Hyun Jong, instead of going to the hiding place, he drove Hyun Jong to the prosecutor's office, in the end Hyun Jong was interrogated by Prosecutor Jang, with a case of accounting and investment fraud. Plus money laundering case. It made Prosecutor Jang ask where all the money went, basically, Hyun Jong not only enriched himself, he challenged Prosecutor Jang looking for where the money is going if it can be, for the sake of finding the money to go, Kan Hari and others start to draw up plans and life strategies, with a long life, now A Ryong is starting lonely, on the way home, accidentally she saw pickpockets in action, unlucky, their action have been caught, pickpocketing women are falling and A Ryong tried to, help her and took the proceeds, so, that women has not caught, Byung Young Ji who was a pickpocket before, she was very impressed with A Ryong's skill in pickpocketing, Young Ji really wanted to become a student of A Ryong, but A Ryong refused it, on the other side, Mr. Yu had asked the whereabouts of Hyun Ki's son, he is So Hyu, aka Kan Hari, which known by Prosecutor Jang that So Hyu had been died while in America, 
allegedly by suicide after the death of his father and mother. Meanwhile Young Ji had followed Aeryon all the way to her house, that night the previous thugs reappear to invite Aeryon rejoin him, but Aeryon still refuses it. Young Ji who grew up in orphanage, Aeryon telling her to return to orphanage, remembering the life outside it was very cruel, the next day, Aeryon immediately told Young Ji to go back to orphanage, basically, Aeryon felt sorry for Young Ji, considering that she had also been thrown into the orphanage, shortly, Young Ji's phone left behind, so, Aeryon tries to go to the orphanage where Young Ji grew up, the owner of the orphanage claims that Young Ji never returned after running away from. There, it made Aeryon always think about Young Ji, even when drawing up the plan, Aeryon could not focus, Khan Hari trying to ask Aeryon's problems, but she chose not to talk about it, with the current conditions, Aeryon keeps asking if money is very important, considering that when cooperating with thugs they only save their money and leave Aeryon so that she got caught. At that time, Young Ji's phone that she brings her sounded, with the news that Young Ji had been kidnapped by the thugs before, in the end Aeryon went to the thugs' place to save Young Ji, Aeryon who was forced to hand over her mobile phone and then do important work, after that Young Ji will be released, elsewhere, Kong Hari has contacted Aeryon but there is no answer, that they finally start the movement without Aeryon, first, they catch Choi Monkyu who is the manager of the property, but from the results of capturing Monkyu, they didn't get any information, and finally found a message containing a list of good restaurants, by looking at the news and the message, Khan Hari was able to knowing the place must go, on the way they cross with Sangmon who is their target as well, shortly, Khan Hari. Byung Min and Jin Wung has been following him, finally they found a meeting. Khan Hari told Byung Min to report to the police with a female voice, with the reason that he had been beaten gangsters, the arrival of the police made people panic, Khan Hari told Byung Min and Jin Wung followed Sangmon, while Khan Hari tried to follow the money, but suddenly another car appeared to make Khan Hari squeezed. At that time Khan Hari saw Aeryon was the driver of the car he was chasing. Finally Khan Hari have to be caught by the police, but when at the police station, Khan Hari got very good service, with claimed to be a detective who worked under the orders of Prosecutor Jang. Before leaving, Khan Hari reminded to be careful, that there might be spies inside the prosecutor's office. While Aeryon had managed to carry the money to the destination, all the money had been transferred to the box truck. In the end the thug invite Aeryon to pick up Young Ji. Elsewhere, a meeting was conducted of powerful people with right-hand man named Beksun, shortly, all of them working together for money laundering on a large scale, while Khan Hari and Jin Wung try to dig up information by giving threats to the hostage, so they know all the money has been brought by Beksun, at the same time, Aeryon gets bad news, about Young Ji who will be promoted by serving the depraved lusts of the superiors, instantly Aeryon at the speeds of the car and then, suddenly hits the brakes, which makes the thug faint, after that, Aeryon comes to save Young Ji, they had escaped but suddenly met the owner of the orphanage, Aeryon asking the owner of the orphanage to save Young Ji, while Aeryon tries to fight the people who pursue her, but is all being mess when the orphanage owner catch Young Ji, and Aeryon got a hard blow. Beksun is a knife expert among gangsters, he commits all the crimes that make money, but his face is never exposed in public, to recognize him, Beksun had burns on his hands, before Aeryon had asked Young Min to looking for information about Young Ji, by chance the orphanage and the root of the money chase at that night were same, eventually, Khan Hari go to the orphanage to investigate everything, when talking to the owner of the orphanage, Khan Hari begins to discover a gaff, in the middle on the way, they found a patches of a fledgling car, claiming to be prosecutor, Khan Hari, Byung Min and Jin Wung started checking CCTV in the area, Byung Min and Jin Wung had doubts whether it was true that the person driving the car was Aeryon or not, Khan Hari also got information that the route was a rare road passed by residents, and only there was an orphanage in the area. Before started taking action, Khan Hari tried to ask Jin Wong and Byung Men about Aeryon according to them. Jin Wong had considered Aeryon like his sister, and also Byung Men. Meanwhile, Aeryon and Young Ji have been confined to a room. Shortly, the thugs tells the true events. At first, Young Ji offered to joining the thug. Young Ji will pretend to be kidnapped so that Aeryon comes and asks to be allowed to join, but in the end, Young Ji is cheated too, behind it all, the money that was transferred has been saved, and will be sent again to the more powerful leader, while concerns are felt by Meng, he feels that it has been too long since Khan Hari did not give news, and the prosecutor has not done anything, soon he got a message from Khan Hari who had sent all the clues, previously, the movement of the Khan Hari's team had realized, that made Byung Min and Jin Wung were blocked in the middle of the road, finally a fight was inevitable, at the same time, Khan Hari had come to the residence of the owner of orphanage, on the grounds that there are several things that must be 
Disgust, while making drinks, the owner of the orphanage sends a message for his troops to come for the sake of clearing up Khan Hari, Jin Wong and Byung Min who had been sprawled finally being angry, after the thug was about to leave and had insulted Arion. Meanwhile Khan Hari realized that the owner of the orphanage is a Beksun, and finally the fighting also happens, easily Khan Hari defeated Beksun, after that, Khan Hari finally saved Arion and Young Ji with claim to be Arion's older brother, but outside, Beksun reappeared with a gun, not long after, Jin Wung and Byung Min had arrived, at the end, Khan Hari, Jin Wung and Byung Min must fight all the troops of Beksun. And then Prosecutor Jang and his team have arrived. Beksun who were still there finally trying to escape, but Arion did not just let him go, a chase between Arion and Beksun happened. And ended with Beksun that had an accident, in the end Prosecutor Jang set a record again by arrested by Beksun, and all concerned officials were also arrested, Beksun asking for someone's help to be expelled, otherwise, all the plans that person did will be dismantled, which eventually Beksun found in his cell room has died, before Khan Hari interrogated him and sought for deeper information. And the scene moved to the presidential candidate, named Kim Sung Jin. The campaign was carried out in order to gain the trust of the citizens in order to become president, while Heiju who is a subordinate has been accused of possession of drugs, which requires her to be arrested by the police. Today prosecutor Jang gave a job again for Khan Hari and another, two days ago. It has been found money at the station as much as two million dollars, behind that money, subordinate of Beksun named Mr. Nam had taken it, a debit list was also found in the safe of Beksun, and the receiver of the money is Sun Jin, is a presidential candidate previously, alleged, that all dark money was used as campaign funds, and it is probably that many others gave illicit funds to Kim Sun Jin, at first, Khan Hari did not want to accept this case, while Byung Min, Jin Wung and A Ryan were eager to handle this case. Elsewhere, Yong Jun who is a lawyer, accidentally saw a woman trying to do a protest, shortly, that woman asked Yong Jun for help to take care of the case of her child who was accused of having drugs, this woman is the mother of Heiju, a woman accused of possession of drugs, this woman really sure that her child did not do such a low thing, and believes this is an act of Sun Jin, meanwhile, Jin Wong, Byung Min and A Ryan seems to be confused about where to start this case from, when, trying to do it without Khan Hari, in the end, they brought Khan Hari to a trial, by chance it was a Heiju case accused of drugs possession, a witness there who gave fake testimony against Heiju, but Yong Jun showed that Heiju had a weak heart medical record, so it is highly impossible that the drug belonged to Heiju and neither found drug substances in Heiju's body. Shortly, the first trial was over, after seeing this trial, now Khan Hari willing to take the case of Sun Jin who is the presidential candidate, first of all, Khan Hari meets Heiju to find out actual incident, that day Heiju had come to Sun Jin's room to give the desired material, but Sun Jin had his own intention to f asterisk ck Heiju, as soon as Heiju left from there, after the incident, Mrs. Yu who is Sun Jin's wife had contacted her, to pay Heiju for a piece on both sides, but hey, Ju refused it, which she ended up slandering as having drugs and detained. After that, Khan Hari also met the witness at the previous trial, at that time, Khan Hari gave comfort to the witness, so that he could took the woman's phone and copied all the important data on the phone, so, Khan Hari's team knowing that the witness was paid to fake testify. Elsewhere, a woman named Suhana had come to Yong Jun to give a recording of Mrs. Yu while threatening Heiju on a phone, and also an evidence of receipt of dark funds, Hannah chose to betray because Mrs. Yu killed Beksun in the prison, and also tried to kill Mr. Nam, at that time, Hannah only gave a warning to Mr. Nam so that he ran from there, meanwhile, Young Min had managed to find the location of Mr. Nam who was in the internet cafe, Khan Hari also informed Mr. Nam's location to the prosecutor Jang, but Mr. Nam has been caught by Leo who worked for Mrs. Yu. In the end, Khan Hari and others did not found Mr. Nam, on the scene full of blood, a mother gave clues to them. Now on, Mr. Nam had been taken to Mrs. Yu, a large dose of medicine finally put into the body of Mr. Nam, that could kill him slowly, at that time, Mrs. Yu also realized there was a spy around her, she faced her phone to every face of the bodyguard, it turned out that the call was from Young Jun, which finally Hannah discovered. In the end, Hannah also injected with a dose of dangerous medicine, meanwhile, Khan Hari and others had arrived, Jin Wong, Byung Min and A Ryan immediately checked to upstairs, while Khan Hari informed his location to Prosecutor Jang, at the time, Hannah walked to the edge which made her fall from the top of the building. As soon as possible Hannah was taken to the hospital, Hannah must enter the emergency room because she was on the verge of death, in order to reveal everything, Khan Hari met Heiju's mother, and asked about Hannah, according to her, Hannah would be a witness to the next trial, it is probably now met Yong Jin already, elsewhere, 
Mrs. Yu has given $20.000 to Yong, according to the agreement they made, for all Yong needed is money. Meanwhile, the deputy chief of prosecutor tried to dissuade prosecutor Jang from conducting an investigation into Sun Jin, who made him so upset. Shortly, Kang Hari has met prosecutor Jang, he feels too hasty if he is eyeing Sun Jin, what needs to be done is to expose Yong. In the past, Yong worked an attorney, even he who indulges in public the corruption of Choi Hyun Ki who is the superior of prosecutor Jang or the father of Kang Hari, basically, Yong quits from the attorney for privileges. Kang Hari evaporates lawyer Yong's income of $50 million per month, even he has assets and shares a lot, experts become good person, in the end. His goal is to protect the people elites with exorbitant pay, even the entire attorney and judges also accept bribes from him, then it will be very difficult to dismantle the case if it does not break the chain first. Khan Hari asks prosecutor Jang to perform the task he gave. Khan Hari also drawn up a plan with his team to find evidence and take Yang's money. The first step is report to news media about the case of Sun Jin. Reporters Shin who were Song Jin's supporters instantly rejected it. Finally Byung Min sent a photo of his affair using a printer. That ended up doing a meeting between Khan Hari, Byung Min and reporter Shin. Khan Hari asked Shin to covering the news he gave, and covering it, before leaving, Khan Hari also took the reporter's identifiers belonged to Shin. Meanwhile, A Ryong and Jin Wung who claimed to be detectives had come to the drug smuggling place. Shortly, Mrs. You had bought drugs there, which finally they brought to the attorney as a witnesses. Now Khan Hari has disguised himself as a reporter Shin dividing the case of Sun Jin and Yong to other news media, and finally the news spread very quickly. After that, Khan Hari went to Yong with the intention of informing him of the news of Sun Jin receiving illicit funds, and also Yong who was involved in the bribery case. Khan Hari seemed to be defending him in order to provoke the anger of Yong, and also informed he got the news directly from Prosecutor Jang. In the end, Yong went straight to Prosecutor Jang. There, the conversations start heating up, plus Prosecutor Jang provide evidences that could endanger Yong, which made him even more angry. After that, Khan Hari's team had been following Yong's movements, at the same time, Prosecutor Jang had met his old friend, for help finding a broker who had been hired by Yong. On the other side, a meeting had been conducted, A Ryan posing as a waitress had been suspected. Fortunately, the restaurant owner informed that A Ryan was senior employee. Before leaving, A Ryan installed eavesdroppers inside there. Earlier, Khan Hari had also bribed the restaurant's owner, eventually an arrest. Warren had come out. Because Prosecutor Jang gave the results of the voice oversight to the general attorney, now Prosecutor Jang can start an official investigation, an official investigation done only as a multiplier, whereas the Khan Hari's team has found a woman who took a trunk from the residence of Yong, Khan Hari aware it is containing money, they are going to go for took the money, meanwhile, Yong told Mrs. Yu willing to be interrogated by the attorney, with the assumption that all would be well when there was no solid evidence. At this time, Prosecutor Jang had gotten information from his friend about the requested broker, but Mrs. Yu had arrived at the attorney which made Prosecutor Jang unable to see the broker and had to conduct an interrogation, that finally Khan Hari going to meet the broker alone, behind that, Prosecutor Jang's friend turned out to be also working with Yong, at this time, Khan Hari has arrived, Khan Hari's arrival has been reported to Yong, which makes him remember the incident with Khan Ha, Ri, before having a team, Khan Hari had conducted his own investigation, but when he started to reveal everything, Khan Hari was attacked by the broker and suffered severe injuries. That were none other than the broker ordered to did that by you. Now Khan Hari meet the broker who ever injured him. Khan Hari instead of leaving but instead closed the door there. Finally Khan Hari have to fight them all. At that time, Meng came with many troops. Meng very surprised to see many people already sprawled. While Khan Hari tried to chase the broker leader who brought the evidence, in the end, Khan Hari managed to get the book on the other side. Jin Wong. Young men and A Ryong try to search all the places, one after another lockers were opened which they finally managed to find the money, but suddenly Leo's troops return to appears, while Khan Hari has contacted Yong to make a deal, in the book, all the Yong's evidence is clearly written, but Khan Hari must escape from Meng's chase who tried to get the book too, Khan Hari aware that the legal devils and the attorney were involved with the money, so he told prosecutor Jang to keep silent, Khan Hari will send the package, that can dismantle all the bribe recipients including in the attorney, in the other place, Jin Wung and A Ryong tried to fight Leo's troops. From the toilet, the young men appeared by bringing a firefighter. At that time, A Ryong tried to bring out the money. Accidentally, the young men also carried out. In the end, Jin Wung back to fight against Leo. For the umpteenth time, Leo had to lose. In the end, A Ryong and the young men managed to carry all the money and ran away after picking up Jin Wung. On the other side, Khan Hari had gotten out of the taxi and walked through a hallway. At that time, Yong tried to hit Khan Hari by his car. 
but suddenly another car had crashed into Khan Hari, eventually Khan Hari to be taken to the hospital, due to the incident, made them fight, when there were no people, Yong had entered seeing Khan Hari, Yong realized that Khan Hari did all this not only because of the money, and finally managed to found the voice eavesdropper. While A. Ryan, Jin Wong and Byung Min tried to escape because Leo's troops reappeared, in the end they have to be cornered in a hallway, unexpectedly, behind the door, there is Meng and his troops, at the same time, Yong confessed all his crimes and also the bribery case that was carried out with the attorney and also the judge, in the end Yong tried to kill Khan Hari, after trying to survive, finally Khan Hari tried to fight back. Soon, A. Ryan, Byung Min and Jin Wong showed up recording Yong's expression, at first, A. Ryan just pretended to crash Khan Hari, Wanting to add the liquid they brought Khan Hari to the hospital, and all of Yang's remarks had been clearly recorded. With the Byung Men's skills, a television could record a voice, because he had pressed. Yang tried to escape, but unluckily prosecutor Jang had confronted him, while Hannah finally survived with Yun He's help. In the end, Mrs. Yu and Yang B. Able to arrest it in a bribery case, and even prosecutor Jang managed to arrest the chief prosecutor and the deputy on charges of obstructing the investigation process and also accepted bribes. Yong tried to get that person for help in order to be released, but that man wouldn't take him out, while Khan Hari tried contacting that person by using Yong's phone and informing that that person is the next target. After all things that happened, Khan Hari came to the grave of his late father, Prosecutor Jang had also visited Khan Hari dad's grave. At night, Khan Hari and his team held a party in a fancy restaurant, shortly, Khan Hari going to the toilet, when he is about to return, he sees the mobile phone used to contact that person, even though Khan Hari had previously thrown it away, Khan Hari told Byung Min to check all the CCTV in the restaurant, but found nothing, despite trying remembering the face of the beside him but he couldn't see it clearly. The meeting was conducted by the higher-ups who felt nervous due to the accusations to Sun Jin, in the end that person showed his face, his name is Kim Jong, to deal with this matter. Kim Jong told Song Jin to say the truth in public and conduct the legal proceedings with its fair if indeed his wife is guilty. Kim Jong's goal just is seeking of public trust, to make their side better. Kim Jong plans to drop a candidate other presidents to look more bad, elsewhere. Khan Hari have met on Yun. He, allegedly, Yun He's father had come to the house and took the key, that key was given by her father 15 years ago, Yun He was told to take care of it and do not give it to anyone, that key could open the safe containing secret Korean funds. A few days ago, Yun He's father named Chu Won Ki had asked to give him the key, Won Ki intended to use the funds to run a dark business, but Yun He refused it, Yun He wanted his father to be changed, to be honest and admit everything, finally, Khan Hari asking Yun He to hide and close her hospital for a while, for Yun He's safety, but Yun He asks Khan Hari to bring her father home safely, meanwhile, Prosecutor Jang now is very famous, and even received a warm welcome from his team. Shortly, Prosecutor Jang giving a gift for the birthday of Ming's son, Ming given one week day off to have fun with his son and wife. Today they all gathered to talk about the job, this case started 15 years ago, when Daehan Company invested $180 million into Royman Securities, but in the end Royman go broke and all the funds just evaporated. Chu Won Ki was the one who handled that international investment, but unfortunately Won Ki deliberately invested in a company that was about to go broke, so that it could sell all the shares so that Won Ki got huge gains. After the incident Won Ki fled to China by sea, it is suspected that Choi Hyun Ki was the one who took bribes by sea, Choi Hyun Ki suspected the one who received the bribes and helped Won Ki to escape, I remind you that Hyun Ki is the father of Khan Hari, in the end, Hyun Ki was accused of being a corrupt prosecutor then committed suicide. Instantly prosecutor Jang was very angry, because Khan Hari talk about cases in the past, shortly, Khan Hari tell that Yun He is daughter of Won Ki, Khan Hari just wants the money, if Prosecutor Jang wants to arrest him, please interrogate him, Khan Hari insists not to talk about the matter to anyone else, unless Prosecutor Jang's own team, elsewhere, an aide from Kim Jong has met Chairman Xion in jail, Chairman Xion invited work together to handle Won Ki who returned to Korea, and also got rid of Khan Hari, and finally Chairman Xion was released from prison, after that, Kim Jong told his aide to continue the plan to the next step. On the other side, Prosecutor Jang had told his team to hunt down one person, but accidentally it heard by Mr. Yu. Finally, Prosecutor Jang forced to tell the purpose of capturing Won Ki. Prosecutor Jang feels that had to catch him immediately before death came to Won Ki, whether it's suicide or being killed. On the other side, Khan Hari's team started to spread up to looking for clues. Byung Min would check the computer at Yun He's house for seeking an information, while A. Ryan tried to find the CCTV had recorded Won Ki. Khan Hari and Byung Min also checking CCTV in different angles, so that they could find out the movement of one key from CCTV to the side of the other's CCTV. 
After successfully collecting an information, Byung Min explained that one key cooperated with Park Chin Jae, then. Someone will be sent to pick up one key in that place, with Byung Min's skills, they could know the location of the building, Khan Hari must disguise himself as Chin Jae's friend to play golf, in order to get a sample of Chin Jae's voice, basically, Khan Hari could not play golf, the ball used has been installing GPS by Byung Min, therefore, Byung Min and Jin Woo will move the ball, therefore, Khan Hari seems to be good in golf, A Ryong has also put eavesdroppers on Chin Jae's shirt, and, they can get a sample of Chin Jae's voice. After the game, Chairman Xion has confronted Chin Jae. The violence was carried out to find out one key's whereabouts. Meanwhile, A Ryan had taken Young Jae's phone. With Chin Jae's voice samples, they could answer one key's phone to conduct a meeting without being suspicious. Whereas an attorney, Meng has returned to work on the grounds that he is bored and wants to work. But the problems have also begun to arise. An attorney, the headquarters of the Jang's team, has been searched on the orders of Mr. Yu. On the other side. Kong Hari had entered a building to pick up one key, at that time, the situation was chaotic when one key's information is spread in the news media and the attorney will conduct an investigation, plus the pickup of one key visited by uninvited guests, namely Chairman Xion's squad, to save one key, Kong Hari fights the troops of Chairman Xion, because feels that there is something wrong, Arion and others immediately came in and helped Kong Hari. While tidying up the Chairman Xion's men, Kong Hari trying to catch up one key who is being pursued, Shortly, Khan Hari successfully to take one key for hiding. At this time, the media broadcast that Prosecutor Jang has formed a joint an investigation to arrest one key, even though previously, Khan Hari had told Prosecutor Jang not to tell this incident to anyone. In the end, the police came to arrest one key. Khan Hari trying to get one key to escape from there, they managed to escape after A. Ryong and others came to pick him up. As a result of his meeting with Chairman Xion, young men get panicked. Considering that Byung Men had bad memories with Chairman Xion, Kong Hari is trying to calm Byung Men down that all will be alright, he won't let Byung Men get caught again by Chairman Xion. The next day, Kong Hari and others making a movement again to drive one key to the destination. Elsewhere, the attorney has found the identity of Kong Hari on the presumed to have helped one key's escape, which finally Kong Hari was stopped by the police, but skillfully, they cleaned up the police easily, due to Khan Hari's resistance to the police, now Prosecutor Jang knows the whereabouts of Khan Hari and immediately follow them. At the port, there are many officers who are on guard, Khan Hari have to rack his brains, to be able to cross unnoticed, next to the port, there is a private pier, Khan Hari trying to get someone to talk, at that time Arion took the keys of the man who has that boat, therefore, they could cross the island without being discovered. But the officers standing guard at the island had received reports to arrest one key and Khan Hari, while Khan Hari and others had arrived on island, A Ryan accidentally saw a house that was familiar for her, even as if knowing the name of the owner of the house, A Ryan had asked Cha Dong Su, who's the owner of the house, one of the residents informed that Dong Su had died 15 years ago, because an urgent time, a Ryan must leave immediately, at this time the officer started make a move to find one key, a grandmother tells that Khan Hari has borrowed her son's truck, on the other side, Khan Hari starting to get upset because one key did not tell the right way, therefore, they just circled. One key could not believe Khan Hari, but after talking each other, Khan Hari could make one key to believe him again, but the officers found them and arrest them. Finally, one key knowing that Khan Hari has tricked him, after one of the officers mentions name of Khan Hari, too long for waiting, A Ryong, Byung Min and Jin Wung think that Khan Hari escape again, with Byung Min's skills, they can track down Khan Hari's whereabouts. Meanwhile, the officers carrying one key and Khan Hari had been attacked by Qian and his troops. Soon A Ryong, Jin Wung and Byung Min arrived there, which finally the fight happened. At that time, one key took the opportunity to escape, and Khan Hari also tried to follow one key on the run. One key met the little girl with her father, who makes one key remember 15 years ago when he met his daughter. That day Yun He gave a watch to her father by her first salary. Even today the watch is still always one key where, shortly, one key has arrived at his destination. Soon, Khan Hari also arrived there. Easily Khan Hari could follow him by using the tracker that he has installed. Khan Hari told one key to turn himself in, and the money would be used as evidence for his safety from Kim Jong. But one key thought that Khan Hari is the second plan of Kim Jong. While Cheon is the first plan, considering Kim Jong always has two plans, Khan Hari to reassure One Ki by telling Yun He's heart, who is the daughter of One Ki, that no matter what her father's behavior, Yun He still cares very much and asks for Khan Hari to bring One Ki back safely. While A Ryong, Byung Min, and Jin Wong have met Prosecutor Jang, 
Prosecutor Jang tries to explain the misunderstanding that happened. In the end, one key's safe was opened which contained a lot of money. One key also turned himself into the authorities, with the intention of being able to live with his daughter after serving a sentence, before being taken to the police station. One key had met Yun Hee, but their meeting did not last long. One key had to be killed after receiving a shot from Meng. At that time, Khan Hari remembered One Ki's remark that Kim Jong always had two plans, and killed One Ki is the second plan. In a room, Prosecutor Jang managed to find a wife and child of Meng who kidnapped, basically, Meng commit a murder for safety his child and his wife who kidnapped, her father's death leaves deep sorrow for Yun Hee, even there is no death ceremony because no one will come, while, in interrogation room, Meng tells the characteristics of the person who gave the weapon, at that time he couldn't see his face, only there was a tattoo on his neck, elsewhere, Byung-min curiously why Khan Hari so. Obsessed with this case, in the end Byung-min was very surprised after knew the fact that Khan Hari is Choi Hyun-ki's son, behind Meng's actions and kills, Khan Hari convinced that Kim Jong is the real mastermind, Khan Hari sure the scandal of 15 years ago will repeat itself during the presidential election, Khan Hari plans to uncover everything, but it is different from previous cases that this case did not make money. In other place, a Ryan returned to meet the previous residents, too. Find out the case that happened to Dong Wu 15 years ago, a Ryan given a clue to meet John Hyun who was accused of being Dong Wu's murderer. Meanwhile, Byung Min secretly made a moves, 15 years ago, Byung Min trying to register to become a civil servant, by chance at the time Xion was the one who tested him, Byung Min managed to hack the system in that place in just 10 minutes, which finally Byung Min accepted, he was expected to be employed on behalf of the state. Byung Min has been used to hack into the secret documents of the superiors including also Choi Hyun Ki, aware of it. Byung Min ends up destroying one of the files containing Choi Hyun Ki's confidential documents. Meanwhile, Khan Hari tries to contact Byung Min, but there is no response. Khan Hari asking the prosecutor Jang tracks down the whereabouts of the Byung Min. At the moment, Byung Min wanting to meet his old friend who worked as a spreader of false rumors in the presidential election. Shortly, Byung Min borrowed an ID of his friend for the sake of being able to enter the secret place where people work for Kim Jong. Meanwhile, A Ryan finally knows of the incident that happened to Dong Wu which is Aeryon's father, at that time Zhang Hyun got offered to find a ship to help Wan Ki's escape, in exchange for 10 times, at first, Aeryon's father refused to come, but Zhang Hyun forced him, but after knowing that Wan Ki is a criminal, Zhang Hyun reported to the police, unfortunately the police had conspired, in the end Aeryon's father killed by one of Wan Ki's men, and then Zhang Hyun was framed as the murderer of Aeryon's father, at that time, Hyun Ki appeared and tried to help, but Choi Hyun Ki eventually also killed, John Hyun claimed that the person who framed him was Kim Jong, at first, A Ryan's father planned to pick her up at the orphanage. Considering that A Ryan's mother had remarried and put A Ryan in the orphanage, but John Hyun just hold him for the sake of a job and finally killed, John Hyun apologized for everything that happened. Elsewhere, Jean Wong accidentally entered to a secret room of Khan Hari, there, he found many people were targeted by Khan Hari, from there, he recalled the incident 15 years ago, when Jean Wong was hired to arrest counselors who did not want to cooperate with Kim Jong, at that time, Jean Wong will work with anyone as long as he gets a satisfactory fee, while Byung Min has entered into Kim Jong's system, he started hacking the system, but action of Byung Min has been realized, and finally, Xion and his troops came to find a person who accessing secret data, Byung Min trying to escape, he transferred the files to Khan Hari, but unluckily, Byung Min had to be caught by Xion, Byung Min being beaten, shortly, Khan Hari arrived there and beat up all the Qian's troops. That incident also made Byung Min remember the initial meeting with Khan Hari, Khan Hari saved Byung Min which was held captive by Qian, because he had destroyed Choi Hyun Ki's secret data, finally, Khan Hari take him to work with him, shortly, Khan Hari managed to take Byung Min away from there, a secret leak surely makes Kim Jong very upset, but still told his aide to carry out the next plan. At that night Prosecutor Jang called to see Chief Prosecutor Yu, at the same time Khan Ha. Ri had read a raid file taken by Byung Min, containing all of Kim Jong's tricks and plans. Prosecutor Jang will be vilified as Choi Hyun Ki's murderer, and finally died because of suicide, prevented that plan. Khan Ha Ri was to tell Jin Wong and Byung Min to come to the attorney office, when Prosecutor Jang had arrived. When he entered the elevator, Prosecutor Jang received a call from Khan Ha Ri to ran away from there, but the aide had been there. Prosecutor Jang realized he was the one who forced Meng to kill, while the aide trying to kill Prosecutor Jang, Jin Wong had arrived there, finally, a fight broke out between Jin Wong and the aide. Meanwhile, the Prosecutor Jang cornered again, fortunately, A Ryan came to take him away, while A Ryan had taken the Prosecutor Jang to get out, there, Khan Hari had also arrived, but from the other direction the car was speeding up hitting Prosecutor Jang. 
The anger of Kan Hari made him beat the driver of the car, from inside. Jin Wong managed to get out and hold the enemy behind the door. Finally, Kan Hari had to go immediately to take Prosecutor Jang, as well as Aeryon. Byung Min and Jin Wong finally left there too. After that, Byung Min informed Jin Wong and Aeryon that Kan Hari is the son of Choi Hyun Ki. During this time, Kan Hari has started everything alone. Finally, Kan Hari made a team with them. Even every people who has been targeted so far is in contact with Kim Jong. One by one subordinates are arrested so that Kan Hari could found the real mastermind. Kan Hari also knows all about them, including Byung Min who ever worked for Kim Jong to erase the evidence of truth Kan Hari's father. While Prosecutor Jang had been taken to Kan Hari's headquarters, Kan Hari's told Prosecutor Jang to stay there. Considering that the chief of attorney also cooperated with Kim Jong, Kan Ha Ri will go to finish everything by himself. Kan Hari knows all about Prosecutor Jang, and reminds that their cooperation was due to Prosecutor Jang a few years ago, which finally made Prosecutor Jang realize that Kan Hari was so high -o. Elsewhere, the Chief of Prosecutor Yu announced that Prosecutor Jang had accepted bribes from the aid of candidate of the president. From this time, the crime restitution team has also been disbanded. Previously, the Chief of Prosecutor Yu has also been bribes, and promised to get the desired position. If refused, then Chief of Prosecutor Yu will end up like Choi Hyun Ki. Elsewhere, A. Ryan, Byung Min and Jin Wung has returned to their headquarters. They planning to follow Kan Hari. But don't know where to go. At that time, Kan Hari has arrived somewhere. By activating the phone of Prosecutor Jang, Chief Prosecutor Yu can find out his current location. The attorney also has designated Kan Hari, Byung Min and Jin Wung as fugitives. To help Kan Hari, Aeryon start to change her mindset, so they know where to go. At that time, Prosecutor Jang tries took apart but passed out again. While Chief Prosecutor Yu had arrived at the Kan Hari location, they checked all the areas in hopes of arresting Prosecutor Jang. But when everyone is busy looking for Prosecutor Jang, Kan Hari arresting the Chief Prosecutor Yu, Kan Hari forced the Chief Prosecutor Yu to confess all the bribes received. After that, Kan Hari left him unceremoniously. Elsewhere, Prosecutor Jang had been taken to Yanhi's place for help. Everyone had left, but Prosecutor Jang also got a task to do. In other place, Byung Min hacked into Kim Jong's system to lure Chiyans to arrest him, while Jin Wong who became a fugitive attracted the attention of the attorney to arrest him too. Elsewhere, Chief Prosecutor Yu had a meeting with Kim Jong by killing one of his bodyguards. Kim Jong told Mr. Yu announced the death of Prosecutor Jang, and slandered him for the well-running of the scheme he devised. Unexpectedly, Kim Jong's actions had been recorded. Earlier, Kan Hari had put a camera on Mr. Yu's shirt. Using that footage, Kan Hari invited Kim Jong to meet. Meanwhile, A. Ryan and Byung Men was chasing each other with Chon and has been cornered. Shortly, Jin Wong also arrived there with the prosecutors who chased him. Unexpectedly, the attorney and Xion had known each other and cooperated. It turned out to be their plan, by bringing in a team prosecutor Jang and the other prosecutors, Chon and also person who got the bribe could be arrested. At this time prosecutor Jang has returned to the attorney, in the end Mr. Yu be able arrested. At night, the meeting finally made between Kan Hari and Kim Jong. Basically, Kim Jong committed all the crimes in order to gain a power, by killing and slandering, he can control the world according to his will. Even the VIP of the president and officials are in his grasp. Soon, Kim Jong's troops are also there and Kan Hari must be sprawled after being ganged up. When Kim Jong was about to kill Kan Hari, Jin Wong, Byung Min, and Aeryon had also arrived there. At that time, a fight broke out between the troops of Kim Jong, Jin Wong, Aeryon and Byung Min. Kan Hari's team could easily defeating them. Meanwhile, Kan Hari tried to chase Kim Jong, but unluckily, Kim Jong managed to escape. Previously, Young Min had installed a tracker on Kim Jong's car, so that they could easily find Kim Jong's whereabouts. At that time, Kan Hari, Byung Min and Jin Wong was in the same car. Meanwhile, A. Ryan who were in other car, in the middle of the road, Kan Hari told Byung Min to stop A. Ryan's car, for the good of A. Ryan so as not to get involved in trouble and not in jail. Even A. Ryan can't get out. Anyway, A. Ryan really wants to continue to be with them, who are already considered like her own brother. Shortly, Kan Hari, Young Min and Jin Wong has arrived at their destination. First of all, they paralyze the control room. Therefore, they could know the meeting room that is being done. Electricity in the building it has been turned off. Kan Hari has three minutes to enter the meeting room and install CCTV. Three minutes have passed. The electricity is back on. CCTV is well successfully installed. At that time, Young Min broadcasting the meeting live on social media. Even the broadcast reached Prosecutor Jang. Jin Wong sent the location of the broadcast to Prosecutor Jang to done everything. 
but unexpectedly, Kanhari was still inside the meeting room. The people inside were very surprised to find that Kanhari is the son of Choi Hyun Ki, who was killed 15 years ago and his death was made into a slander. Kanhari dismantled their dirty plan to repeat the tragedy of 15 years ago, and absolutely the target is to kill Prosecutor Jang in order to bring down the opposing party and slander him for bribery. They were also shocked after knowing the meeting had been broadcast in public. So far, Kim Jong made the superiors and conglomerate to follow his will. Therefore, Khan Hari has his own plan to bring down Kim Jong by demeaning him in public. If a crime reappears, then the truth will come to solve everything. Now Kim Jong's game is over. Outside, Byung Min and Jin Woong has cleared all the guards and waited for Khan Hari shortly. Then the police arrived with Prosecutor Jang. In the end, all the members of the meeting had been arrested including Kim Jong. Meanwhile, Khan Hari, Byung Min and Jin Woon tried to escape to the roof building. With a loose laugh, they were relieved to have exposed everything, despite having to be arrested by the police as a fugitive. Prosecutor Jang tried to release them, but Khan Hari asked. Prosecutor Jang not doing that. Meanwhile, A Ryong has returned to headquarters. She found a message from Khan Hari, Byung Min and Jin Woon to always be careful to take care of herself and live her life happily. Finally the previous live broadcast become current news, with all the evidence, finally the name Choi Hyun Ki will be cleared of the case scandal 15 years ago, a court has conducted, Prosecutor Jang as witness claimed to have hired Khan Hari and others, he felt deserves punishment, and most can alleviate Khan Hari's sentence, Jin Wung and Byung Min, Prosecutor Jang make the recording of the agreement with Khan Hari as evidence, but once played it is just a sound a song, that is nothing, but Byung Min that has changed it, in the end, Jin Wong will be imprisoned for 12 years and Byung Min will be imprisoned 12 years too, and Khan Hari had to be imprisoned for 15 years. Before being moved to his cell room, Prosecutor Jang just returned to see a Khan Hari, he felt sad that because Khan Hari had to be imprisoned, but in any case Khan Hari and others must responsible for everything that happened. Meanwhile, Prosecutor Jang must continue to work an attorney for justice, Khan Ha. Ri also told Prosecutor Jang took all the money in the headquarters as a proof. Finally, Khan Hari, Young Min and Jin Wu would be escorted to their respective cells, but unexpectedly, A Ryong had hacked that car. Earlier, A Ryong disguised herself as an officer and got into the prisoner's car. Meanwhile, the attorney had searched the Khan Hari's headquarters, but they only found $30. Their behavior made Prosecutor Jang laugh. Previously, A Ryong had moved all the money. In the end, they'd be able to escape, and will be back to start the action from the beginning. And finally, the movie is end.